بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد some of the conditions for itikaf for one Islam of course and for first and foremost the first condition that the ulama have have uh, laid out is that a person must be Muslim to make itikaf in the masjid And this is in agreement with the four madhahib. Another shurut or condition for itikaf is that a person must be sane, aql, to have their itikaf accepted. And that's also with ittifaq of the madhahib al-arba, with the, the agreement, with the consensus of the, the four uh, madhahibs. Hanafiya, Malikiya, Shafi'iya, uh, and Hanabila. And this is also in accordance with the statement of the Messenger of Allah on Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama qal Rufi al-Qalam an thalatha an naim hatta yastaykat wa an sabi hatta yahtalam wa an majnoon Hatta Yaqul. That the Prophet وسلم, said in the hadith, Ruahu Abu Dawood wa Nisai, wa Ibn Hiban, wa Al Hakam, wa Hassanahu Bukhari fi Ilil, wa Ghayrah. In this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, وسلم, he said, The pin has been lifted on three the one who sleeps until they awake, the child until he reaches puberty and the one who is uh, who is insane or lost their sanity until they regain their sanity and along with that of course is the intention as the Prophet وسلم, said so this is also a condition for itikaf is that a person has the niyyah to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make itikaf to be an itikaf as the Prophet وسلم, said in the hadith of Umar bin al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu قال سمعت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول إن معمال بالنيات Verily actions are tied to the intentions So letting us know that our intention to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be an itikaf is also a condition for itikaf Also uh, tamiz that a person is mature and sane those two uh, things together that they must have that in order for their itikaf to be sound and accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is in agreement with the four madahib as well another thing regarding for the women is that the woman needs permission of her husband to make itikaf so it's not for the women to just demand and just go out and as they, they please and just go make itikaf oh I'm making itikaf assalamu alaikum no, that she has to have the permission of her husband uh, in order to do so. And this is also the agreement of the four madhahib. And in, a, in, a, in accordance with the statement of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, who said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam dhakra ana ya'taqif al-ashal al-awakhir min Ramadan fasta'than tuhu Aisha fa'adhan allaha. So in this hadith, hadith. So the hadith continues on, but the, the, the beginning of the hadith is sufficient and gives us the evidence that we're, we're looking at. Where Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, uh, that he was uh, reminding, making a reminder about itikaf during the last ten nights of Ramadan. So she sought... Uh, permission from him to make itikaf, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave her permission. And then, continue on, uh, Hafsa asked Aisha to seek permission for her as well. And she did. And then Zainab bin Jash, Jash, uh, as well, so they asked the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, letting us know 
that that is one of the conditions for it to calf. Another uh, condition for it to calf is that it to calf should be in a masjid where there is the congregational prayer, meaning the five daily prayers are established in order for it to be it to calf a sound it to calf. It must be a masjid. And it doesn't necessarily have to have Jumwa there, but it, the fact that it is the five daily prayers are established, then this is sufficient. And this is in accordance with the statement of Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala, Kolullahu Ta'ala, Wala Tabashiru Hunna Wentum Akifuna Fil Misajid, Tilka Hududullah, Fala Takrabuha, Kedalika Yubain Allah Ayatihi, La Linasi La Allahum Yatakun. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Fikitabi Al Kareem, and do not to bash it you know, don't, you know, have relations with them, meaning, meaning your wives, and you are akifun fil masajid, meaning you're making itikaf in the in the masjid, you're secluding yourself in the masjid. This is the hadud; these are the limits or the boundaries of Allah, and do not come close to those boundaries. And likewise, Allah makes clear His signs for the people in order that they will gain taqwa, in order that they will fear Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that lets us know that the masjid is a place of dhikr, and it is impermissible to have relations in there, and that that is the place for itikaf. And then there's Dalil from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is also permissible to make itikaf in other masajid other than, of course, the Masjid al-Haram uh, in, 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 in Mecca and in Medina and Masjid al-Quds. It is permissible, or Masjid al-Aqsa, that is permissible to make itikaf in other than those masajid. So as long as it's a masjid, you can make the itikaf. And this is in accordance with the madhab of the of the four madhahib, of the arba, the four uh, uh, madhabs that we mentioned, rahimahumullah, jami'an. Those are just some of the conditions, or the conditions for it to calf, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our worship of Him. And bless us with Elm Nafia so we can worship him more pro uh, properly. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya no Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.